What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to continue building out our trip details page and we're going to add three new cards, all of them relatively simple, but we will be using our Firestore data and kind of manipulating it slightly. So let me show you what it's going to look like at the end and then we'll get into it. So once we go into our trip detail here, we're going to just basically print the title of the trip, the dates of our trip, then we're going to have the budget per day. And then this is going to calculate the total budget based on that, that total trip date and um, that, you know, that daily budget. And then we're also going to have calculated how many days until our trip. So starting from the current day to the trip start date, this is what this will calculate. Uh, and again, our notes card is still down here. And you can see as we scroll up, that image does get a little bit smaller, which is as we want as we set up. All right, let's get into it. We're basically already printing out the trip title there. We just want to add the date as well. And if you remember, if you go back here, you can actually view that we have the date printing quite nicely there. So let's just go ahead and copy that, which is in our home view. So from the home view, uh, we can find right here that we have this text, uh, which is the date. So copy that, bring it back over here to our trip details, and we're actually going to create a new widget. So right above the notes card, we're going to kind of keep these in order of how they'll be displayed on the page, and the notes card will actually be at the bottom. And create the trip details widget. First, let's return this as a uh, just a card. Within the card we can just add the child element which is going to be a column and then inside the column is we can just paste what we copied from before. Now you'll notice this date format is not quite working and that is because to get that working we need to add this package that intl package so just paste that in over here um, and now that widget should be good with just the date. So if you go back up to our uh, our sliver list up here, you'll see we have the uh, we have these two text pieces, which is one is the title and then one is the budget. So copy the one that's the title and drop that into the um, into this widget as well. So now we'll have the title, and then below we'll have the date formatted. Um, as we see it, as we saw it earlier. So um, now we just need to add this card into our, add this card right into here, which is into our slivers view. Um, so go ahead and add that like that. And now the card should be coming up, which it does. We just need to style it slightly. Um, let's go ahead and change the font here to be left aligned. And to do that, we can pretty much just wrap these both text blocks in rows. Um, so if we if we wrap it in a row, it will be pushed to the left. Uh, this one will wrap, yeah, I guess we could wrap even with the padding, wrap the whole thing in the row. And that actually is kind of nice with the padding. So let's add the padding on the text here. And I think that should line it up pretty good. Uh, we might not want this much space in between here, so we could set this to be only and do only the uh, only the left as eight, and then also maybe the bottom as eight, and that'll just tighten that up a little bit. Uh, I think that looks good for our start and end date. Now uh, the next card is going to be where we calculate the budget. And this is just the budget per day, and then this is pretty much just multiplied this number by the amount of days that your trip is going to be. So uh, let's do, we'll create this by very similarly another card. All right, I went ahead and coded most of this out, and let me go over a little bit of it, and then I'll show you how to get, how to calculate this total budget here. Because that's kind of the only thing that's uh, really unique to this card. The rest of it is pretty much just layout stuff. So again, up in our sliver list here, I removed the budget text that we had, and I added in this new uh, this new function here, which is total budget card. So total budget card is right here, and again, it's just returning a card with a column, and then each um, widget in that column is pretty much just a row, 
if you really get to it, it's rows with padding around them. Um, and really the first two are rows with padding around them and that's gonna be this daily budget total up here and then, which is all of this right here, and then below that is just gonna be the trip total. And again, it's just using our trip object and then the budget, and then if you call floor on it, it'll just remove the decimal points and make it uh, a single, just integer value. So enlarge the text size there. It's all pretty uh, basic, simple stuff to get that. Then this last row down here, this one you'll notice doesn't have padding on the outside because we want it to take up the entire width of its container. So the row here is taking up the entire column's width. So this row is expanded, which also is what gets it being that full width. And then we just set it to a different background color so it kind of looks, uh, kind of stands out a little bit. And then within here, we're actually just, we just have text right here, but we need to get that total value. So the first thing it's going to be is actually, we can put it, we can put this part in right now, is going to be the, uh, it's going to be the trip budget. Um, and actually the floor value of that. But we need to multiply this by the amount of days um, in this trip and actually if you notice right now this trip is uh, Okay, this date format is a little strange. Let's switch that. Uh, it's actually let's make it month uh, days and then the year uh, so like this So this is from the 15th through the 22nd so um to calculate that, let's actually just create a quick little function down at the bottom. And this is kind of like the set notes button, and these are kind of like just like helper helper um, functions. This is gonna return an integer, so an int returned, and then let's just call this the get uh, total uh, trip days or something like that. So this is just gonna return the total amount of days in your trip so it's actually pretty simple to compare two dates in Flutter and get the days between them. Um, we can actually do it in a one-liner. So we're gonna start with return here, and then we're gonna say, we're gonna start with the end date. So uh, the trip of, the, of end date, and then we're gonna take the difference of that. And then we wanna give it the, the second date, which is gonna be the trip start date. Um, and then that we'll have that we'll have that as a difference, but then we want that difference to be in days. You can see here you can get the difference in seconds or hours or any really any kind of unit that you want of time, but days is what we're interested in, so use in days there. And now if we call this get trip total days, and you don't since this is so short, you could just include this up above, but uh, potentially if you were to use this more than once. It might be useful as a function. I don't know. I could I could see it going either way. Uh, but anyway, you'll have your trip budget um, right there, and then you're gonna just multiply this by that function that we just made, which is actually gonna return the amount of days. So you'll see this changes to 1750, which um, is should be correct because this is what five seven days. So seven times 250 should be uh, 1750. All right, our last card is going to be one that just says the amount of days until your trip. Um, you'll notice that this trip is from, this trip will have already passed. So uh, that's fine. We can actually leave this for now and we'll see what happens, but then I'm gonna create a new trip and you'll see what happens uh, when it's actually a trip in the future. So let me actually quickly just code out that card and then I'll go over it because it is again, very similar to this kind of same layout of all this stuff. All right, this is what that will look like. Um, we're going to similarly, I have just a solid seven right here, but we're going to do a very similar thing as we did when we calculated the amount of days between the trip. We're going to actually count the amount of days until the trip. So. If we copy this function here, it's pretty much, is very similar. So instead of calling it get total trip days, let's call it get uh, days until trip. And with this one, we're going to start, instead of starting with the end date of the trip, 
we're going to start with the start date actually because the start date is the date that we're looking that's kind of like the end date of our difference so the way these differences work is you give it the the final date first and then you find the difference between this date in the future and the date um, pretty much now or the date that you want to start from so since we want to start from now we can just use date time dot now and that will give us the difference in time so if we save this you'll see oh we're not calling it so we need to call uh, get days until trip and replace that where we have our seven up here so if you save that you'll see we get a negative one so I don't want this to have um, a negative value here because to me that doesn't really look nice so instead I would like this to just say zero if the trip is already passed um, in the future we're not even going to have these trips showing in our in this view really these will show in our in our past trips view and when we're in a past trips view um, this will become state full and we'll know that and then this will say you know something different or it might not even be here but for now since uh, since we're not going to quite do that let's just convert it to zero if it is a negative number so to do that instead of returning this let's just set this to a variable so set this to an int variable and we'll call this the uh, difference or the diff I guess keep it a little bit shorter and then we can just do a quick if statement on this and say if this diff is uh, if this diff is less than zero then that means we want to actually set the diff to zero and then we're going to return that diff so so pretty simple here basically if this difference value is less than zero right here then we're just going to make it zero and now if you save that it'll be zero so let's quickly go out and create a new trip and it can be to pretty much anywhere we'll do austin texas and then we want to change the dates so let's do one from the 25th to the 31st and hit ok and then continue here the budget doesn't really matter and then none of this select any of them and if we click into this you'll see both of our new cards actually all three of our new cards are populated correctly all right so you'll notice if we scroll the notes the notes is kind of getting clipped off here and also if we scroll um, we can't really get the notes to stick up there so there's actually a pretty quick fix for this up in our sliver list here uh, we can just add a container and this container we can just give a height so give it a height of maybe 200 and now if we scroll up we basically have a 200 uh, box container down here that we can move up and down with so that's uh, a way to do it for now if we have other cards down here that will make it even nicer but uh, you can play around with that size if you do 300 it might make this to go even you know the full screen if that's the way that you want to do it um, either way I think looks pretty good with 200 so I'm gonna leave it at that great that's gonna be it for this video I hope you enjoyed if you haven't already please consider subscribing all right ciao for now